what is the purpose of the cascade delete constraint the term cascade delete constraint typically refers to a database constraint that specifies what should happen when a record in the parent table is deleted and the record has a related record in one or more child table. The purpose of this constraint is to define the behavior of database when the parent record is deleted. There are two primary options of the constraint, cascade and set null. First is cascade delete. When a cascade delete constraint is defined, it means that when a parent record is deleted, all record, all related records in the child table will automatically delete it. This is a way to ensure that the database remains consistent and that there are no orphaned child records left behind when the parent record is removed. The cascade delete constraint can be useful when you want to maintain data integrity and ensure that all associated data is removed when the parent data is no longer relevant. Second, set null. Alternative, alternatively, you can define a set null constraint. When a parent record is deleted, the foreign key column in the child table are set to null. This is useful in case where you want to maintain the child records but remove their association with the parent record. It is essential to ensure that the foreign key column in the child table allows null value if you plan to use the set null constraint. Here is an example to illustrate the use of cascade delete. Let's say you have two tables, order the parent table, order details the child table. Each order can have multiple order details. If you use the cascade delete constraint on the relationship between these tables, it means that when you delete an order in the orders table, all the associated order details in the order details table will be automatically deleted. Example SQL to define cascade delete constraint. Create table orders where order ID is the primary key and we have other column. Create table order detail where order detail ID is the primary key. Order ID is integer and you have other columns. We are giving a foreign key which is order ID which is referencing orders table order ID and it has a constraint on delete cascade. It is important to be cautious when you are using cascade delete constraint as they can lead to data loss if not used carefully. Before implementing such constraint, consider data requirements and the potential impact on the database. It's also common to have related database triggers or application logic to handle such cascading action depending on the specific need of your database and application.